Hello, my name is Björn Eibel. I'm living in Austria. I greet all the members of this meeting in India and I want to give you some case studies from my uh, working here. Uh, most people know me from this book. It's the most read, uh, read book in Germany and Austria. It's just trans it was just translated into Italy, Italian and Netherlands. And it's also available for free in English as a PDF. So today I want to give you some just normal case studies. I'm beginning with a with a man, 65 year old. Uh, he came to me to find out his problems with prostata. Uh, he's married, he has four adult ch children, um, very introversed, uh, silent person, thin, uh, he's not vaccinated. <clears throat> Before he got in, in, into retirement uh, while he was working his uh, PSA uh, was normal but after he stopped working his PSA raised till 400 uh, and also his problems with with uh, with letting water begin he could not uh, urinate, uh, so they had to put a catheter into, and this catheter left for uh, over one year. <clears throat> and I told him this would never, uh, this would not be okay again. After one year, you should make a surgery. That's what he did. But uh, interesting is uh, how, what, what's a conflict for his prostata. Uh, in work, uh, he, was, uh, he worked in an office and around him there were nice girls uh, who were very friendly and he was also friendly, but they had no sexual thing nothing because he was married and, and and she was anyway too shy to go to go uh, to make any sexual thing with with uh, uh, without her his wife so uh, after uh, leaving this job uh, he was only at home uh, with his wife and he was missing these friendly young women. That was his prostata conflict. Um, and why did he wait so long for surgery that, that had a reason? With 16 years, uh, he was 16 years. He was operated in the in her mouth with the tonsils, and the doctor was a real, very rough guy who was in the war World War Two, and they he he, he took a, a a knife and into his mouth and blood ran out of her his his mouth and it was a terrible situation for this. 16 year old guy so he was uh, traumatized and he did not want to go in contact again with uh, surgery for therapy uh, i i told him that that he should always feel connected with these friendly girls in his office. 
whether he is there or is he is at home, we are all connected together. So he should imagine that there is a good contact. I was I made also a therapy uh, with this traumata uh, of the tonsil sur surgery that is called uh, Ausstreich technique. There, in this, with this technique, you go into this situation, and while thinking to this situation, uh, I'm as a therapist uh, go on his body along some stripes to integrate this situation. Okay, for prostata, I want to say general. Uh, prostata is a part of uh, uh, most, most old men, me included, have a enlarged and hardened prostata. This is a quite normal process. So I, I would say some percent um, of these problems are caused of conflicts, but a big part of this enlargement of prostata is normal because we are getting older and all our organs get a little bit harder and stiffer, you know? So this is, uh, mostly necessary to make some make a surgery because from alone this prostate problem don't get good again uh, conflict resolution is good but it will not help most of the people this is reality and i think we should be realistic in new medicine and not uh, be uh, hold on a therapy that cannot uh, match the reality. The hormone blockade is not a good thing, I think, and that's what I told this uh, this man because he, he got medicaments to reduce his testosterone. This has a good effect to the PSA value, but it doesn't help general because it makes you depressive and your uh, male qualities are reduced even more. Okay, that's the first case study. Second case study. <clears throat> this is a 81 year old wife. Uh, she's in a Christ Christian uh, organization. He's, she is quite unsportive. Uh, she she came in into my uh, therapy like uh, the front bow and to the body to the bottom, very bad walking, and she told me that she has lumbar pain since four years. In uh, convenient medicine, there is no diagnosis. So in reality, she has nothing. But she has always pain. And this pain started exactly after an accident while hiking on a little mountain. Uh, uh, she, uh, she fell down, um, felt on his on her back, but she 
did not ensure seriously anything and this pain did not go away <clears throat> so she asked me what's the, what's my problem the doctors cannot find anything uh, she told that warm is is good and long standing is very bad when she lays down it's getting better and this is a uh, this shows that she has a loss of young energy, the male energy that's running on her, on our back. This is the Chinese uh, theory, young energy on our back. And when you need warm, and when you uh, when it's getting better by laying down, it's a sign that the young energy is not enough. <clears throat> and this is very interesting because I found out that this loss of young energy relays with a loss of male energy. And this is often when the father is not in her life and he's not bringing her his energy so uh, the 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 father i asked her what's what's with your father and <clears throat> she she was very sad to say that her father killed himself in a very dramatic uh, moment and this was 40 years ago uh, and this is interesting the whole story of his father of, of her father this father had an elder brother and these two uh, were very strong connected because their mother said when she was dying you boys you have to care about your younger sisters and they did and they were connected there for their whole life they loved each other one day the the brother of this father uh, was injured by an accident and they wanted to make a surgery and they made a peridonal anesthesia. This uh, anesthesia, they made a mistake and after that um, he could not walk again. He was he had, he had to lie on the bed. She, he was complete, completely finished. After this, uh, the father uh, visited his brother and he came home from this visit and was completely destroyed and said, this situation will not happen to me uh, the next day he went uh, into the downstairs of the of the of her of his uh, house and killed himself uh, the wife who had this pain on the back find his father um, dead in the house it was a big tragedy and this cut it the good energy flowing from father because she could not accept 
the decision of the father. And it's now very interesting that the accident she had while hiking was a, uh, a relief was a uh, it came again in the family because the accident of the brother that was the uh, basis of the tragedy of the father was not integrated and the peritoneal anesthesia is the same place where she felt while hiking on his back and that same place where the pain resists for four years now after this accident so we can say this accident was for her like uh, laying in bed that was his her un uncle uh, that was the uncle uh, happened so what's the solution now for this wife I, I i talked with her and we uh, cleared up the situation by intellect talking and i uh, i i laid down to for a massage that's that's my process and I make it in, in at home uh, she laid down and I make the massage for the back she she, uh, she liked to get warm and the touch uh, this was very nice for her and then we made a meditation we can, went back to the uh, the situation of the killing uh, the, the suicide uh, of the father and we went back to the accident of the uncle we tried to integrate this into her life and then uh, we told the father uh, my father I accept what you did and you always will stay my father and I take the good energy of you and she felt the love of the strong father and <clears throat> it was very impressing because she stood up from the therapy place and she said oh i have no more pain completely uh, completely away i cannot tell you now the situation but i think th we got exactly the point and i think this will be uh, this will be okay for her i advised to make a power training she's 80 years old but she also can make some exercise for getting more muscles muscles are male energy and uh, she should take some massage for uh, in his place that's what I advised her so the resume is always look on the family history to find uh, situations that come that reminds you to the situation of the more actual okay and now i i have a third case study that's a little bit easier it's a 50 year old woman uh, she has the diagnosis rima uh, 
at the moment she has problems with her uh, muscles in the uh, ass the back here and she said oh Björn uh, I took part in a in a jogging event like running uh, not a marathon but 10 10 miles to run and after this running uh, I, I got the pain in the in my ass and they will not go away for three weeks now no two months always pain uh, that's not normal because uh, normally you have some time some days pain and this go away so why did this has so a big effect we found out that her rama started when she began to work she was a teacher and it began in this period when she had to make the tests for the pupils so checking the level making the tests and make the stages for the pupils and this is the same situation as getting checked by herself because this running event was also a checkup for her am i good enough for running and the this reminded her consciousness to the checks in the in her first years of being teacher and the interesting thing is she the family has a topic with this because when she was in the in the uh uh when when the, her mother was pregnant with her the father still went to school he, she had a young father and the they knew that they are getting a baby now and the father still in school that's not a perfect situation and they had one topic please uh, get the exams we need you to earn some money and that's in this aura she was baby in the in the body of of her mother and that's why examinations were triggering triggers for her and that's when her rhyma began so always always look to the deeper things we have to search for situations that are similar uh, in the life of fathers grandfathers grandmothers uh, for therapy i told her please talk with your mother and uh, she should tell you how how she felt in this period uh, during pregnancy in the topic um, that the that her husband went to school and and doesn't earn money and having the exams and i told her it's better for you not to take a watch by running and checking uh, about how fast you are uh, i told her just make it for 
your pleasure for connecting with nature. No uh, situation of examination. And that helped her a lot. The pain uh, went away after two days. Okay, thank you. I hope my English was not too bad. Uh, I uh, This is not my favorite language. <laughs> uh, I wish you the best. Bye-bye.